Today I'll be showing you how to make mutta paneer or cottage cheese and peas. I've made many variations of this dish on my YouTube page, so definitely check those recipes out. I'll start off by browning the paneer, adding all of my spices, which are listed in the description box, so definitely check that out. Once you've added all of the spices, give this a really good mix and let it brown. Once your paneer has browned, we'll add in some ginger garlic paste. This adds a lot of flavor, so don't skip this part. Give this a good mix and you want to cook for three to four minutes or until the ginger garlic raw smell and taste has gone away. The key here is tomato paste. Add tomato paste for one block of paneer, two teaspoons of tomato paste, and for half a block, one teaspoon of tomato paste. Add water and let this come to a boil. Then add a little sugar, jaggery, or pureed carrots to cut the acid. I like to add jaggery or brown sugar so it helps with the color and doesn't take away from the color. Then add in your peas. Give this a really good mix. Matter paneer can be made dry or with gravy like I've made it today. The gravy or the liquid is a little thin so I took some basin or gram flour, mixed it with water, and then added it. This method is used to thicken gravies or sauces. I also added in some black pepper and garam masala. I gave this another good stir. As you can see it's starting to to thicken. Now I'm going to garnish with some freshly chopped coriander and a little cream on top. Gravy mutta paneer is ready to be enjoyed with rice, roti, naan, or paranta. Share this video with a friend that would love it and let me know what you want me to cook next.